And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Hey, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. And today we're taking a look at automobiles. Now, this is the third game in a trilogy from AEG. The first one was Trains, the second one was Planes, and then they have Automobiles. Trains was a deck building game similar to Dominion. With a board, I don't know if you played Trains. Have you played Planes? All right, Planes was one where you ran around the airport trying to get people on a plane where you could only run around in one direction. I, I actually did, I really like trains, did not like planes at all. And I was worried about this one a little bit because it's designed by the same designer who did planes. This one's automobiles and it is a racing game, but it also is a deck building game, kind of, sort of. I'll show you. racing game. A normal game you play three laps. Really that's all you should play because there's <laughs> more laps so I think will make the game last too long. Each player is a car. The starting positions of the car shows how much money you have to buy your initial cubes. See this is a game in which you're going to be pulling cubes out of a bag. Each player has a bag and they're going to start with a certain number of cubes in that bag. Some white, some yellow, and some gray cubes. They're going to be using those cubes throughout the race. At the beginning of the game, players are going to be able to buy more of those cubes. Now, the, the different cubes mean different things. The brown cubes are where, they're always bad. The white, gray, dark gray, and black are uh, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear cubes. Each cube is used for something specific. Most of these cubes are used to move, but each cube also has a value if you use that cube to buy other cubes and a cost when it is being bought. So at the beginning of the game, you can buy some more cubes of your choice. Over here, these cards, the purple, blue, yellow, green, and red cards, they also have these special abilities and things that they can do, but the game doesn't come with just one of each. So here, there's a gearbox, but maybe I want to use nitro, or turbo, or boost. There are four different cards of each of the colors, so you'll use a different one for each game, and that's going to determine how the game is played. So players are going to start, have those cards in their bag, and they're going to get ready to race, or have those cubes in their bag. They're going to be using a player board, and so there's two player boards here. Uh, one side shows the NASCAR, the other one shows the F1 car. It plays pretty much the same way. You're going to have seven cubes that you're going to be pulling from your bag. So let's say, for example, I pull three white, two yellows, and two grays. These dice go in my active pool. Now I can save some of these dice to spend and buy other, I mean save some of these cubes to buy other cubes, or I can use them. So let's say I want to use the white cubes and the gray cubes. For those, I'm going to be moving on the board. So let's say I'm the green car, and I want to move. So I have some whites and grays. Now you'll notice here that there's four different color spaces on the board. There's white spaces, light gray, dark gray, and black. The black space, this is one space. The dark gray, that's two spaces. The light gray, one, two, three, four. And the white, one, two, three, four. So you can see if you stay in the inside lane, you're gonna be going much slower. Now, these bigger spaces have room for multiple cars. So anyhow, let's see here, I have a white cube. So let's say, uh, let's say I use a gray cube first. So I'm gonna go there, then I'll use another gray cube, and then I'll use my three white cubes, boom, 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 to move around the curve like that. Once I'm done plotting out my movement, I will move into the last space. All these cards are gonna go to my discard pile. And then I'm going to look at the highest color I've gone through. I went through light gray. So I'm gonna add two wear cubes to my discard pile because I went through the light gray. And then it's the next player's turn. Now, but before their turn, I also have these yellow cubes. And this one here, I can remove a gear cube from my discard pile and gain a gear cube of one gear higher. Well, since I haven't put everything in my discard pile yet, you don't do that to the end of the turn, that's not worth anything to me. But let's say I had already gone and there were some cards here. Like, yeah, I'll switch out this light gray for a dark gray cube. 
and be able to use that in the future. Or I could save these cubes and just use them for their money. I look on the yellow cube card, they each are worth two, so I have a total of four dollars to spend, so I decide that I'm going to buy this, a black cube, since it costs four dollars. So I take a black cube and stick that in my discard. Ever, once I'm done, all the, the cubes that I've used go from use to discard. I'll draw seven more from the bag, and if I ever run out of cubes in the bag, then all my discards go back in the bag, I draw, and the process starts all over again. And so you're going to keep doing this until someone wins the race. That's pretty much it. Now these brown cubes are going to be really annoying. So on your turn, you have your standard turn, that's what I just talked, and there are cards like the the pit crew here, which can get rid of, it can get rid of all the wear from your discard pile, so all the wear cubes can be gone, or get rid of any two cubes, maybe I want to get rid of other cubes. But if you're not playing with the pit crew, or you just don't have any purple cubes, you can take an alternative turn, where all the, basically it's a pit stop, all the brown cubes here in your active pile, you can remove those. And that's, that's basically all you do that turn. So, But it's a way to get rid of those brown cubes. Because the more brown cubes you have in your bag, the less easily you're going to race. There's a few other rules about moving your cars. You know, you always have to move forward. You can't move into a spot where someone else is. Although this space here could be moved into because there's another spot behind them. Different things like that. But after someone crosses the line after a predetermined number of laps, which again should be three, then one player is called the winner. All right, so I think, Melody, this is the first bag building game that you've played, where you put stuff in a bag and pull out. Quarters? Yeah, quarters is a little bit like that with dice. Okay, so this one is cubes instead. Um, what did you think of that? It's kind of like a deck building game. Did you like that? I liked it. I liked how you can like put all the cubes on the track to like race around. I thought it was fun. Yeah, I mean, but what did you think about putting the cubes in a bag and buying different cubes? Did you like the idea of buying cubes and then pulling different cubes than everyone yeah, else had? I did because, like, of course the waste was really, or not the waste, the wear was really annoying after a while. <laughs> but, like, buying the different cubes and stuff helped out too. Right, and it's, uh, there, there's a couple features in there. I mean, the, that, that wear cubes, it's, which is really almost a very similar mechanism to the waste mechanism in the game trains. But the wear is, you know, at first you're like, no big deal, but the more the game goes through, suddenly you're pulling four or five cubes that are brown, and you're like, ah. Mm -hmm. And you can, I think, to win the game, you need to be able to get rid of those as quickly as possible. If there's a card like Pit Crew that gets rid of them, use it. Or maybe you need to make a stop just to clear everything out. But you can't stop too long. And you mentioned putting the cubes on the track for the cars. What do you think of that? Sometimes um, you could get like really lucky, like because I started in last, and then I got like I drew like seven cubes, and they're all uh, the driving ones. So I just went zooming around because I was able to put them on. But it is interesting, you know. Black cube is the best one. You can go the fastest, but there's only one space on each side of the board. So having a pile of black cubes in your set isn't really going to help you. And having a whole pile of white ones, you know, that means you can always move, but at the same time, you're not going very far. So you need kind of a good mix, and I, I enjoyed that. It gave the idea of shifting up and down around the track without a whole lot of cerebral thought, just basically putting them out. I also like the idea of how whenever you, um, farther out you went, like on the darker colors, um, the more waste you got. It made sense, and I thought that was cool. I should mention that I showed you the track here, which is the Grand Prix, but on the other side, there is another track, so you can have two different tracks, the Monza track. Um, this track is a little bit different, and it plays differently because it has the two black ones next to each other, um, and then it has the dark gray around the rest of it, so this has a somewhat different feel. But I also like that the game has different feels based on the different red, green, yellow, blue, and purple cubes. You know, maybe this time the green is nitro or turbo, and they do different things. And there is interaction with the other players. You're watching them race. You are cutting them off. You are seeing what cubes they buy. Sometimes the blue cubes, the number you have, is affected by what other people are doing. So overall, what do you think of it? I really like the game, and um, I actually want to play the other side of the map now. Yeah, I, 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 I really like, actually, I like both sides of the map. I, I, I think that the it looks a little stark. All right, there's just some cars and cubes. I mean, it, uh, it might have looked nicer with nicer cars and things. The cubes, you know, look a little boring maybe when you pull them out, but the game works well. It's functionally a, a very solid game. 
I certainly like it better than planes, and I almost think I'd rather play this than trains that because never, this feels different. That you're never going to really play with seven laps either? Oh, yeah, no, I'm never going to play with seven laps. Three laps was perfect. I could have even played with two laps, I think, but I think two laps might give someone who's lucky a, a, a chance to win. Three laps is, is really where it's at. Seven laps, I think, would just be super lengthy, but if you want to, it's there. Not to mention your bag would just be full of wear. <laughs> well, you could clear that out, I suppose. Anyhow, that is Automobiles. Thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me, too. There you have it. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop. Boop.